Karen Bryant for MMA Heat. I'm here with Rafaelo Tractor Oliveira. He's uh, going to be taking on Gleason Taibau at UFC 130. Can you talk to us about when you got the call for this? Because it was pretty recent, right? Yeah, it was pretty recent. I was training last Thursday night, and I just got a call with my manager. And he's like, man, do you want to fight Taibau? I say, oh, yeah, guarantee. You know, and he was just, no, he's not in first show yet. He just tried to work on, like, paperwork, stuff like that. So he was, we were ready to go. And after, he just called me back and said, like, hey, you're welcome to UFC. So it was really exciting, really emotional. I was really happy. Yeah, well, let's talk a little bit about the backstory because you were in the UFC before, then you were released, and now you're back. So what happened before, and, and how did you find your way, you know, back into Dana's good graces? Uh, I think that before I fought, but I didn't have a lot of experience, you know. I was training, but I was like, I was around in different training camps, mm -hmm. and sometimes I was like more emotional than, than be smart in the fight, you know. And I had like three decisions, I have two losses and one win. I think I should win two fights, another one with uh, Andrew win, I really lost uh, for decisions. And now I have like four fights, straight wins, and I was put in my head, I'm going to come back and I'm going to do better, much better guarantee. And and I am again, I'm here again, so I'm very hap ha thankful for that. Yeah. Did you change things then in your training camp that, you know, if, if you were able to put together all those wins, what was different? Was it just something mentally or was it something in your actual training? I think mentally is very important too. You gotta be always like you train really hard all the time, but mentally you gotta be prepared in the day of the fight, you know. But also, I'm in training more in, in different training camp now, KMAA, Knoxville Martial Arts Academy. So my coach Eric Turner been doing really good support, and I also been training boxing, straight boxing with Coach John Faust too. So this both things being uh, make me a better fighter, you know. Now, obviously, you're Brazilian. When when I ran into you yesterday, you said you were, lived in Tennessee. I was like, what? How does a Brazilian man end up in Tennessee? Oh, I was I was leaving Hawaii, training with BJ, and one day I had the opportunity to, to went to Knoxville and teach for like two weeks a seminar with Hermes Franca, and I went there and they offered me a job, and I really love the place. You know, everybody's really friendly. I love Knoxville, Tennessee. They volunteers, baby. Yeah. yeah nice. And so then is the tractor reference a, a, a farm reference? I don't know where that nickname comes from. Oh yeah, the tractor is because I was I, when I started doing BJJ, I was like 16, 17 years old, and I was a really strong kid, and I slammed my kid and he's back he out he really got hurt I didn't know I shouldn't do that and I did and he he got hurt and he, he couldn't train anymore so everybody started to call me tractor okay. very nice now you did get the fight last minute you were prepared luckily you know rampage yesterday talked about the fact that he was sad that he let himself go so much gain so much weight he could have fought Shogun when John Jones uh, you know stepped in instead for Rashad so what do you do to make sure that you're able to be ready for these last minute calls I always try to all the time uh, be prepared, be prepared, like training hard all the every day. Try to watch my weight, like good diet, balanced diet. Try to eat healthy. Try to have a, a health, healthy life. You know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to do. Keep balance. And you know, thank God my weight wasn't bad when they gave me a call, and I could accept the fight. Mm -hmm. All right, but l let's be honest. You did say you were out to dinner when you got the call, right? <laughs> yeah, one day before, uh, I have a student. Nick and his mom Nancy invited me to dinner in a Brazilian steakhouse. Oh my God! And I ate a lot that day. Well, the next day, Thursday, I was already washing my diet. I trained twice, so next day I wake up on seven. So it was cool, you know. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got lucky on that one. So is there anything that you feel that you need to? Prove. I mean, people talk about wanting to prove something in a fight, but you know, you are back now, and and I don't know. Did you sign a multi-fight deal, or you know, how did this work? But is there something that you really want to tell the folks, send a message this, with this weekend? Yeah, I, I have I have a fight deal with the UFC, you know, but I want to really like go there and perform for the fans. You know what I mean? I really want to go there and try to finish my fights. I want I want to be exciting fight. I, I, I want to make exciting fights for the, the fans, and I'm gonna win. You know, I know I I deserve to be here and want to be here. You know. I think this is my home. I want to do everything May 28th to stay here, you know. What are the biggest challenges with Gleason Taibau? I think the biggest challenge is because he was training, uh, been riding before than me, and he's stronger guy in 155, and he's more experienced than me in the UFC. I think that's the, the big challenge, but I'm okay. I'm good with that, you know. I'm, I'm just trying to keep my mind clean, keep ready for the fight, be my mentality warrant, and be ready to cure die on May 28th. 
Well, plus you might have the advantage of surprising him because he didn't get to prepare specifically for you. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't have to prepare specifically for you, and I didn't have to prepare specifically for him. You know, just did specific train a little bit, but I'm I'm ready for whatever. And your most dangerous weapon is what are you most known for? Uh, he gotta watch out. He gotta he gotta watch out my BJJ, and he gotta watch out, watch out my striking too. So let's see. All right. All right. Well, Rafael, thanks for talking with us. Best of luck to you on Saturday. All right. Thank you very much, Karen. Thanks, MMA Hit. May 28. Great. Aqui é Rafael Oliveira Trator. Eu estou assistindo MMA Hit.